538, your time now. The Avs at the can last night looking for their third win in a row versus the Blue Jackets. In the second, Avs down 3-2. to two. Booyah! The wraparound goal ties it up at three. And now with just more than a minute left, the Blue Jackets get a one-timer past Semyon Varlamov. That was the game winner. The Avs fall 4-3. to three. Up next is the Blackhawks tomorrow night in Chicago. Now to playoff football for the last two games of the wild card round. Colts up 13 to 10 in the third here. Andrew Luck under pressure but staying as cool as the other side of the pillow. He finds Dante Moncrief for the 36 yard score. Colts go up 20 to 10. Now to the fourth. Bengals looking to come back but Andy Dalton has the ball stripped from him and the Colts recover to seal this one up. Where's Icky Woods when you need him? Getting some cold cuts probably. 26 to 10 the final. I'll tell you what this means for the Broncos in just a little bit. Now to the Cowboys and Lions with under three minutes left to play. Call him Butter because he's on a roll. Tony Romo finds Terrence Williams in the back of the end zone for the eight yard touchdown. Dallas takes their first lead of the game. Last chance for the Lions here. Matthew Stafford. He's going to get sacked and he's going to fumble the ball. The Cowboys recover. Game over. 24 to 20, the final. You saw Jerry Jones celebrating with Chris Christie. I think he just lost the vote in Michigan and New Jersey. <laughs> Come on. Let's take a playoff picture look right here. Saturday, you got the Ravens at New England, Carolina at Seattle. Sunday, you got Dallas at Green Bay. Possible sequel of the Ice Bowl. That's what they're saying. Nice. And then you got Indianapolis, of course, facing Denver at Mile High, and that's at 240. Now to basketball as the Nuggets look for their second win in a row in Minnesota tonight. Tip-off versus the T-Wolves is at 6. Now, you may have noticed, or you may have missed it, but I paid a little homage to Stuart Scott yes. with some of his catchphrases. And he was one of my favorites. He was one of the first guys I ever saw on TV doing Sports Center, And I, I just love the way he did his job. Yeah, and yesterday, I when I woke up and I found out the news, man, it really hit me hard. I know. Yeah. It was, it was yeah. hard, man, you know, that seeing way. that. And, but I want to remember the good times, though. Just check out one of my favorite Sports Center commercials <laughs> right here featuring the late and great Stuart Scott. Hey, Maria. Hey, Stu. What's up? Uh, a supplier gave me these, and I figured, you know, if anybody could use them, you could, right? Yeah, so giant worms can spring into my face. Nice try. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, Maria. I was just trying to be thoughtful. You know what? Forget it. Whatever. I'm so sorry, Stu. Yeah, I mean... I just thought... <laughs> You're evil. Yeah. Can I get that can back? Oh, Love that's that. Great, yeah. Love that right there. So rest in peace to Stuart Scott. You know, so we'll sad. Be missed. I know. I was the same thing. I woke up yesterday. I was like, what? Yeah, Stuart so Scott. Yeah. So young. There you go. People, even the president tweeting. Yes, out, exactly. Because uh, 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 yeah, he interviewed him, him well. a couple times. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. So we've got two games on Fox 21 this coming weekend. We've yes. got the uh, Carolina Seattle game Saturday Correct. night. Yep. And then Sunday morning, we've got the Dallas and Green Bay game. So. Yep. I got Seattle and Green Bay. That's who your pick for an NFC Championship title, okay, and then I got see. Denver, New England. Denver, New England, right. Foxborough. All right, we'll see it's what gonna happens. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, but we'll see what happens. Thanks, buddy.